Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, I heard you loud and clear, you want this base, so I'm gonna give it to you. This base survived two attacks in the WHF versus LP4 Hades War, and it is also the weakest Tunnel 12 on the lineup. So, and it also had the lowest percentage, so had they attacked it, they would have actually had the potential to gain the most percentage out of any other base left on the map. Now, some important notes before I go on, and hopefully this will add value to you when you're like searching for a base or anything like that. What I like to do when I search for a base is, let's see, I think 19 was the highest on level, total 12. What I want to see is both the defenses, the amount of defenses it had, so in this case, Rogue had four. Adrian and Jami Subida, Sutra got three. But the important note is this base had the lowest percentage, as I mentioned. But also I want to point out that this base had only one attack on it, which means that they didn't want to attack it a second time. They didn't have a plan for it, or the other bases were easier to do in their perception. So I just wanted to point that out that it's not all about having four defenses or five defenses having the best base. That just means that the opponents just didn't know what to do with it and had the extra attacks to attack it. So in this case, two attacks and 70% being the highest. Let's go see the first attack on the base. And in this case, it actually was Captain America. So here's the base, link in the description below. This base has served me well for a while. I use it quite a bit in the Mobile Open Season 3, I think it was. It survived quite a few rounds in there. And now using it a little bit in the current leagues. So, Tunnel 12 base. <clears throat> it's got the Town Hall and the Eagle Artillery separated by quite a bit. And it also has all the Inferno Towers in separate compartments. So you can't reach... The Queen can't reach any Inferno or Eagle or Town Hall from any Inferno, Eagle, or Town Hall compartment. Which makes the base quite spread out. The first attack here is a P.E.K.K.A. Smash by the looks. No Yetis this time. But he's going to use the Warden ability on a Town Hall. And then right after that is the tornado trap, which makes them, which slows the Pekkas and the bowlers down a lot. So they can't use the warden ability to fight through the first inferno. Then after that, we have the hound slowing things down as well. A couple of skelly traps slowing things down. And we have the slammer going in at twelve. So at 12, there is a, an air defense that is not easily accessible by the queen or bowlers before this point. So it would be very unlikely for a P.E.K.K.A. Smash to get that air defense really quickly. And also the slammer goes straight from this building over here to the air defense, skipping the Inferno Tower. So none of the loons even make it there. Let's fast, through, fast forward through the rest. It's just clean up at this point, trying to get as many percentage points as possible. It's very important for this type of war, the no dip war, because the Tunnel 13s can't clean up your mess. So you have to get as many, you have to struggle to get as many percentage points as possible if you fail. So let's look at the final attack. Um, the best way to do this is to go through here. Because I have emojis in my name, it's very clear. The the attackers are very clear. So this time it's a P.E.K.K.A. Smash. <laughs> and it looks like he's going for a very similar style of attack. So we have Warden Walk at 12 this time. King for Funnel. 
And let's see what he decides to go through the town hall with, or if he decides not to go the, through the town hall directly at all. Okay, looks like he has wall breakers going in, so he is planning to go into the town hall. King takes out the Tesla farm. So that was a very good adapt. But it doesn't quite make it any better. So we have the Eagle Artillery raining down. Town Hall goes down. He doesn't use the Warden ability because he knows that there's the Tornado Trap there. And because it doesn't really matter because he had Rage Healers on his Yetis and Pekkas all at the same time. So he can use the Warden ability for later in the raid. And that's also kind of the reason why this Yeti Smash attack is so powerful. He uses the Stone Slammer yet again at the top side. But it looks like all of his troops are splitting off towards the Infernal Tower compartment on the right side. Because he opened that compartment with the EQ, but I think if he did this attack again, he wouldn't have... He would have just had the EQ, like... He would have dropped it closer to 11 o'clock, rather than towards 4 o'clock here. Also in the base link, I'll fix this hole. That I just missed. And this hole here. So I'll fix those for you. Just so you don't have to waste any time doing that. And so, the rest of the base stands. At about 60 something percent. That's where it's going to finish off. So that's the end of the base link portion of the video, but if you want to stick around, I'll show you a properly executed P.E.K.K.A. Smash raid right here by Zerg. So, so, so this is going to be a Warden Walk P.E.K.K.A. Smash, and he's going to go straight from the town hall just like the attacks on me did. So place the Warden down. Unfortunately, it's targeted by two defenses. So it's going to lose a bit of health, but that's not too big of an issue at this point. Because you can quickly get to the point defenses and take them down. So now he's just waiting to get to the Inferno Tower. But you could have helped out a little bit by doing some funneling at 6, more than just taking out this camp. But, like, taking a baby dragon and a wizard, he could have taken down that mortar, and then the warden wouldn't be standing so far to the right, so far away from his entry point by the town hall. So, speaking of the entry point, he's going to drop a whole bunch of units by the town hall area by that opening by the wizard tower. And that's hopefully gonna draw the warden back. So once the inferno tower goes down, he's gonna be fe he's gonna feel comfortable putting all of his units down and drawing the warden back. The warden does indeed follow back. And now he's waiting for the town hall to pop. Once the town hall goes down, he has use the warden ability to protect the bowlers. Jump spell right in the middle to lead them towards the center and now he's left the top part for the stone slammer to flank on offense. He's gonna freeze the inferno and the air defense to keep the SS up a little bit longer. Minions behind that to clean up and he also saved a he also saved a haste spell for the loons. So at this point, we have a couple of healers up. We have Pekka's up. We have lots of loons. He brought a couple of his own to take out these top defenses at the at 12 o'clock. And now they're just going to slowly make their way around the base and take it out pretty easily. So yeah, that was a very well executed Pekka Smash raid by Serg in order to help us get the win over WHF Now Tribe Gaming. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. 
I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.